So today's DIY is a simple home DIY. I'm gonna be transforming some plain white napkins into these really pretty ombre tie dyed effect napkins. It's really easy to do, really effective. And I've actually also done a table runner as well. So here's how I did it. So the first thing you're gonna need is some plain cotton napkins, plain white ones. I actually bought mine from Aldi. Um, they were 2 dollars in the sale, but you could find these anywhere, online, any kind of homeware stores, and you just want plain white cotton napkins. So I'm gonna unfold them. I'm actually gonna cut this little label off just so um, the whole thing just looks a bit neater. I don't really need that label on there anymore. And I am going to also pre-wet the fabric because dye does work better if the fabric's wet. And then I'm gonna fold the napkins into rectangles. Now for this DIY, I really wanna make it just really quick and really simple. And I'm not too bothered about the ombre effect being absolutely perfect. So that's why I've opted to fold my napkins. If you wanted it to be absolutely perfect and with no folds or sort of details in it, then you would want to keep your napkins unfolded, but you could use this same method. So I'm folding them into rectangles and then I'm actually popping an elastic band around the top and I'm gonna use that elastic band in order to hang them off the side of my bucket that I'm gonna fill with dye. So as you can see, I'm just folding them really simply into a long thin rectangle and actually uh, once they're folded and the elastic bands on there they actually stand up on their own so I'm going to do all four like that. So once I've done all four napkins they're all folded and remember they're damp the fabric is damp because that does help. I'm just going to lay them out so you can see how I've done them so yeah so they're all folded in half and this is the um, dye that I'm going to use it's the Dylon navy blue it's a hand dye not a machine dye and it's only gonna take uh, one sachet I used actually. Uh, I'm gonna follow the instructions on the back, which requires a certain amount of water and also a certain amount of table salt. It's just standard table salt that you can buy from anywhere. But yeah, follow the instructions for how much of everything you need. So I've mixed mine up in a very old bucket. Don't mix up your dye in anything that you don't want to get marked because this dye does have a tendency to stain. So don't put it obviously in your lovely sink or anything like that. An old tub or an old bucket is the best thing. So I've mixed in the correct amount of salt but not the correct amount of water. I want it to be quite a strong dye. So basically only put in um, a third of the water that it says that you should use. So you're gonna have a small amount of dye in the bottom of your bucket. And then actually using your elastic band in a little paper clip, we're actually gonna hook the paper clip onto the elastic band and then onto the edge of the bucket and that's gonna stop your napkins from falling all the way in because what we want is just a very small amount of the napkin to be in this very strong solution of dye. So you can see here, I'm hooking my paper clip on the back of the elastic band and then using the other side to hook onto the bucket. And that's how they're gonna stay in place and make sure that they don't fall in. So yeah, I'm using the paper clip and bending it out like this and using one side to hook onto the elastic band and one side to hook onto the bucket. And I'm gonna put all four napkins in there, but I'm gonna keep them on one side of the bucket. And this is because the technique that I'm going to use for my ombre is by adding more and more water so that the dye moves up the napkin. The other method for ombre is to lower the napkins into the dye mix, but I'm opting for this. So essentially, because we have a stronger solution of dye at the bottom, we're gonna end up with a much darker color at the bottom. We're also going to leave the napkins in for this first stage for the longest time. So we're gonna get the darkest color at the bottom. So I'm actually just gonna use my mobile phone to set a timer. And the first timer I'm gonna set is for five minutes. So I'm gonna set a timer for five minutes and then come back once the timer is up. So my timer's done it's telling me that it's time to add more water. So I've added some more water to my jug, some um, warmish water, and I'm just gonna really carefully pour it in on one side of the bucket. You wanna be careful pouring it in because you don't wanna create splashes. As you can see on one of the napkins, I did actually already create a couple of splashes, but don't worry too much. As I said, I don't want mine to be perfect. And I've set another timer for five minutes. 
So there's really no precise method to this. I just kept adding small amounts of water at five minute intervals. So every time my timer went, I would come back with my jug and I would slowly pour some more water in. And what that's essentially doing is not only raising the level of the dye on your napkins, but it's also diluting the strength of the dye. So basically the depth of color is gonna get less and less the further you get up the bucket. What I'm also going to do towards the end of the ombre effect, I'm going to start reducing the timer as well down to only two minutes. So to create that graduated, uh, is that the right word? Yeah, graduated colour effect, we want the last part of the napkin where it's blue to be on for a very, very short amount of time so we can get the blue as pale as possible. I'll be 100% honest, this was 100% an experiment. And like with a lot of my DIYs, I tend to just have a go and see how they turn out. And I film them as I have a go. So this was my stab at an ombre effect and I was pretty happy with it. And this was my sort of cheap method that I used. So to create the very final part of the ombre, I just push the napkins down a little bit, let them bounce back up again on their elastic band. So there's just the tiniest bit of dye on them as you can see. And then I set a timer again for two minutes. And yeah, I just left them for two minutes like that with just that little bit of dye soaking into the fabric. And then I took them out. So when you take them out, you wanna be really careful that you don't drip dye all over the bits that don't have any dye on, if that makes sense. So just be careful, let the excess dye drip off. And then I just lay mine onto my bin bag, which I'd use to protect my table. So yeah, peel off the elastic band, take them out the dye, let the excess drip off and then pop them onto your bin bag. Uh, once I'd got them all out, I then stood mine up in a jug um, just to carry them over to the washing machine because the next thing we're going to do is you have to put them in on a wash. Now on the back of your dial on dye, there's all the instructions of what temperature to wash them at and everything like that. So basically just follow the instructions. I used my old washing machine that's outside um, but if you are going to use your normal washing machine, because let's be honest, most people only have one washing machine. I just happen to have a rubbish one outside, which I use for dog stuff and things. So I used that machine. But once you've uh, rinsed them as per the instructions, just give your machine a rinse out cycle. It just helps make sure that any excess dye doesn't then affect your next wash. So you can see the ombre effect that uh, we've created. It's so beautiful. Obviously remember that once you have washed the napkins, you are gonna lose some of that vibrancy. It's not gonna be quite as vibrant, but it will still look beautiful. So once they're washed, dried and pressed, this is what they look like. So as I said, it doesn't create the most perfect ombre. It creates kind of like a tie-dyed ombre. And I really love it. I think it looks kind of messy, kind of grungy, which I personally really, really like. If you wanted a really, really perfect ombre, then I would suggest folding the napkin simply in half and then hanging them in your water unfolded and that way you would get an even ombre along the whole napkin so you'd need quite a big tub and you could use something like your laundry area to hang them that's how I did my table runner so this is the finished napkin all folded up. You can see the ombre effect. I think it looks really, really pretty. Um, I love the blue. Obviously this would work with any color. You could use pink, which would also look lovely. Purple, any kind of color dye on dye that you can find. And this is the finished four napkins all laid out on my dining table. I think they look super pretty with my pink Ikea crockery and my gold cutlery. And yeah, as I said, I also use the same method on a plain cotton table runner as well, which I also got from Owl Dave. But again, you could find online or in store somewhere. Use exactly the same method and uh, just on the two ends and achieve the same result. So I hope you've enjoyed my DIY video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did and also do subscribe for more videos and I'll see you again next time. Thanks. Bye.